interception by Jerome Baker. That's the highlight of the spring game. Maybe of all spring games. What a pick by Baker. Now you know why he played as a true freshman last year on that really good ball club. My goodness. If I was the receiver coach, I'd have, I'd have that clip and say, hey, the linebacker, fellas. <laughs> Wow, that is unbelievable. Now, they'd look at that in a regular season game because the ball comes down on the turf and there'd be a challenge flag thrown. That's a catch. Getting down with it. I've got a follow-up for you in a moment here. Laviano to Carew. One-hand catch, Carew! Boy, is he making himself an NFL tape today. Oh, he, he's definitely a Sunday player. Great job. A little slant and go. And he, remember, he's been hurt. Sticks that left arm out, makes a great catch. Look at his concentration. Wow, brings it in, tucks it. That's textbook. You got a freshman cornerback trailing, thinking if you can read the thought bubble, really? And a pass. And a one-handed grab by Landry. What a play, Jarvis Landry. Pulling catches from... Under his sleeves, a magic man, 26 yards. Darius Butler is wondering what's going on here. Well, his best friend, number 13, Odell Beckham Jr., had one last season. What a catch by Jarvis Landry. Unbelievable. How about that LSU tandem, huh? Tannehill going to throw for it. Sideline, wide open. Pulled in. 54 yards to this point. It's third and eight. Spencer Will is the lone setback. Mettenberger for Landry. Did he catch it? Hands of Velcro. Touchdown, LSU. How about that? This might be one of the greatest catches I think I've ever seen. Over the top of Otha Peters. And watch the right hand go up. Look at this catch. Oh. It was like he's riding a bull. You see him holding that left arm up in the air as he goes down. Now the question is, did he, did he come down with complete control of that football? He only had the right hand on it. He goes up. What a tremendous catch. Well, you got to review it. It's got to be reviewed yeah. for sure. I mean, but, but look. That's a great shot here. Let's see this. He tucked your corner, Michigan Weeds. Spade from the end zone, taking a shot for Darbo. Did he hold that in with one arm? He adds to a career high day with maybe his best catch so far. Can I be free to uh, share the conversation you and I had at halftime, Bob? First down, Osweiler looks one way. A one-handed grab from DeAndre Hopkins. Holy cow. What a catch. I guess it helps to have enormous hands to be able to do this. Well, he talked to us about one hand. He said, I don't need the gloves. I can catch anything with one, one hand that he did. I mean, sometimes you have to make your quarterback look good. It's first and goal from the one-yard line. Remember, DeAndre told us on Friday when we talked to him, how do you help a quarterback? Well, not every ball is going to be perfect. Go out. Here's the running back. Play action. And Manning's going to heave one. Is, oh, there's a flag. Back to my one-handed catch. How in the oh, world? Oh, my goodness. And Brandon Carr was back there. I mean, he is insane. How do you make that catch? Oh, my goodness. This is sick. Put this to music. I don't think he stepped out either. That may be the greatest catch I've ever seen. Defense number 39. Penalty's decline. Result of the play. Touchdown. You have to be kidding me. That is impossible. That is absolutely impossible what he just did. That may be the greatest catch I've ever seen in my life. It's in the conversation. Wow. After being fouled. I mean, he was clearly fouled on the play. And that's clean. That's not. Oh, that's School, which is right across the street from Michigan Stadium. Rudolph going deep, and it is caught along the far sideline by Amara Darbo. 
One of the few completions down the field this season for Michigan, a 21-yard gain. It starts with making the right read. Single coverage on a double move, and Jake Rudolph throws it up and away, away from any possible interception and the concentration in the Odo Beckham-like catch by Darbo. Seventeenth catch of the year for Darbo. Justice called the golden rule. Nick Sorley wants a bunch. Throws deep looking for his tight end. Oh, Kasicki made the play. That'll be a BTN standout for Kasicki. You talk about Mike Kasicki. He's a tight end. He looks skinny at 6'6", 252 pounds. He looked like a wide receiver there. What a one-handed great catch.